Okay, well, at the very end, I saw the earth go through all these phases, and it goes to this brilliant light phase, right? The light goes into the, oh, yeah, here's, I wanted to mention this. Those ones that are going to try to hide out inside the earth, that, that ain't happening. The light's going inside the earth. It, that's where they're going to be hiding. Those, You know, those dark souls that are trying to manipulate and control the earth, they're going to be hiding underground, and they're thinking they're getting in the way. Well, they'll, they'll, it will. It'll save them for a little bit longer. I mean, they'll be the last ones to get caught. But, you know, it might save them for a day or two, maybe a month. Who knows? Maybe two, maybe a year. Okay, whenever whenever that time of darkness comes, first of all, if you have food and you stored it, great. Fantastic. If people are beating your door down wanting to kill you for it, by golly, you got to make a decision at that time. That's, that's decision time, isn't it? And when you kill that person that's trying to get your food, uh, oh boy, what happens to you? Do you get to participate in the in that light that's right on the other side of that, you know, or you or do you kill that person, and oops, you you were you were shoved into a position where where the whole universe is going to be watching during that time of dark. How are you going to act? And for me, I'm I'm willing to starve to death. I'm I don't want to kill anybody. I saw I saw people fleeing around in chaos. And I saw these certain core people of, of people that'll be walking together, singing. They'll be joyful. They'll be laughing. There is nothing to laugh. <laughs> I mean, the world is in literal chaos. But it's but but they're going to be the points of light. If you see them, join them. And if you're not, if you don't see them, become one so the others will join you. You know, I'm not I'm not going to kill anybody for a can of tuna. I'm not going to do it. If, if I if I if I can hide it I'm gonna hide it <laughs> okay so that I can feed my family yeah it's gonna be total total anarchy total breakdown of, of, of uh, civilization uh, people are gonna be running fleeing scared frightened and they're gonna do things that they ought not do and especially to their fellow human beings the whole world's gonna be in, in chaos and what we do during that time we can be humane or we can be inhumane that's it you got two choices if you're humane uh, that doesn't mean you, you let people kill you <laughs> you know I'm not saying not to wrestle off the, 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 the boogeyman I'm just saying I, I think that I think that we've got to be points of light I think that's our protection I think that if, if you're in the Costa Rica and you got enemies on every side and and they don't attack you why don't they attack you because you're the one person that isn't going to stab them in the back i think you just got to be a point of light and i and i know that there are lots of people storing up their food and ammo and guns and, and preparing to kill all the hordes of hungry people i mean if there's seven billion hungry people out there and you got the only can of tuna i, I got a feeling you're going to lose that deal I think he's just admitting he failed. And I think that people give in to their lower impulses. Whenever it becomes dark, we become frightened, fearful. After a certain period, some people say it's three days, some say it's seven years. I don't know how. I mean, I, I saw it, I saw it as very brief. I mean, I, I'd like to think it was three days. Uh, I, but, you know, <laughs> to hedge my bets, I'd probably try to at least save three, do three days worth of food. But even better, I think every everybody ought to save up a certain amount of food and water just so you don't have to uh, go out and kill somebody else for their food. Uh, I mean, that's nothing wrong with that. But the, but as far as storing up a bunch of guns and ammo so you can kill people, I don't know. That's That ain't happening for me. I mean, there's some people, that's what they're believing in. They're saving up their, 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 their instead of buying uh, diapers for their kids, they're buying another bullet. You know, <laughs> instead of buying shoes for their Children, you know, they're buying another gun. That's what I say. You know, uh, this is probably the longest interview I've ever gone through. That, but I, I think it's, uh, but I think that uh, it's important to say what happens at the very end. At the very end, the whole Earth explodes, and there's nothing that takes its place. The camera stays there until the end of time. So everybody who thinks the new world is right here, it ain't. The world that we're creating is the world that we're going to have. And the one that we rebuild is going to be the one we have. 
So we ought to be trying to save it instead of hurt it. And there is an end, though. Whenever the world ends, there were, there's a last day for this earth. And it just, and from the in, internally, it just blows up. And the souls, those orbs of light that I talked about, the ones that were Costa Rica, the ones that were brilliant, singing, joyful, they go out, splinter out all over the universe. And they're like star seeds. They're the seed. They seed the galaxies and and the uh, universe with uh, human beings who've actually survived up to that point and. Uh, have complete they're complete souls i mean they're filled filled full of light and they've lived outstanding lives and the world blows up though but uh, the the thing is that people think that, that that it's never going to end time ends and it and it does end and when the, when it does end we're going to get to see our stories and our stories are important and uh and i i think we ought to create a love story that's what i think now that story that i told you it sounded like a war and peace, but it was three hours long. But uh, I, I think that it needed to be told, and I don't know if it gets told in one in one uh, setting. <laughs> but I did I did what I could for three hours. I saw a lot more than that.